The universe. Scientists have studied it from time immemorial. Yet this vast space is still filled with as much mystery today as it was when Galileo made his telescope more than 400 years ago. We scientists at the Cavalier IPMU are just like little kids asking their parents why it is like this, why it is like that. We look up the night sky and wonder why are stars so beautiful? How did the universe begin? And why are we here? We are trying to make sense out of the universe, asking how does it work? There are scientists intent on unraveling these mysteries. Mathematicians, physicists and astronomers. Working together at the Kavli Institute for the Physics and Mathematics of the Universe, Kavli IPMU. Galileo said, the book of nature is written in the language of mathematics. How did the universe begin? What is it made of? What is its fate? What are the rules that govern it? Why are we here in the universe? The aim of this institute is to apply a scientific approach to these philosophical questions that mankind has been asking for so long. 200 researchers are currently working at Kavli IPMU. 18 are principal investigators internationally recognized as leaders in their fields. Several from institutes other than the University of Tokyo. More than half of the researchers here are from overseas. This indicates the Institute's international vision for the conduct of its studies. At an early age, um, I was given a telescope, very young. Um, it was a small telescope. Um, it didn't work so well. Um, so I, as I was in my own backyard, I would observe the sky. Walking home at night, you could see the planets. And then I decided to take my, drag out my telescope. And I would observe the moon. Um, Jupiter, Saturn, the Orion Nebula, Andromeda. And so I just, I found that very um, exciting to be an observer and try to understand what we see. Research is being carried out here using different approaches on five questions. The first of these is how did the universe begin? Many researchers have established by observation that the universe started with the Big Bang. But how it began is still a process full of puzzles. At the beginning, the size of the universe was extremely close to zero. When we think of something so small, the density of energy according to Einstein's general theory of relativity is infinite. If that is so, the current laws of physics all collapse. To solve this problem, we need to combine the quantum theory description of particles in the subatomic world with the general theory of relativity applied to gravity. Where did the energy for the Big Bang come from? The second question, what is the universe made of? If we divide matter into ever smaller pieces, we reach the level of subatomic particles. These include electrons, quarks, photons and neutrinos. But even if we gathered all the matter that is now thought to exist, it would not account for as much as 5% of the total energy of the universe. Most of the matter is what we call dark matter, a strange material that makes up about 20% of the mass of the universe. By observing the rotation of disk galaxies, for example, we know that dark matter spreads over an area ten times the radius of a galaxy, enveloping the stars that the galaxy contains. However, the true nature of dark matter is not yet known. The most probable explanation is that it is composed of unidentified subatomic particles made in the very earliest stage of the universe. The greatest mystery is the so-called dark energy 
that makes up 70% of the universe and whose composition is completely unknown. And where does the universe get the energy that accelerates its expansion? The third question, what is the fate of the universe? The accelerating expansion of the universe was confirmed in 1998. Until then it had been thought that gravitational pull by matter made the expansion slow down. The discovery of the accelerating expansion implies a repulsive force stronger than the attractive force of gravity. It's a mysterious dark energy that fills the universe. Will the universe continue to expand forever? Or will it change and begin to contract? Or will it end completely torn apart, a big rip? The nature of the dark energy will decide its fate. Fourth question. What are the laws that govern the universe? There are four forces in nature, gravitation, the electromagnetic force seen in such things as magnets, the weak interaction that gives rise to the phenomenon known as beta decay, and the strong interaction that holds the nucleus of an atom together. The theory called the standard model does not take gravity into account. To understand the Big Bang, black holes and such, it is necessary to have a theory that combines gravity and quantum theory. The strongest candidate for this is the super string theory. The energy required for the Big Bang is considered to have been generated from nothing. Super string theory can give an explanation for this huge burst of energy. で、その超非モリロン従うとこの一見こう新特異点で非常に振る舞いが悪いわけですが、この天流症ですね。この紐に置き換えることによってま大きさをもたらします。で、この大きさによってこういった特異点がより考えられています。で、この九次元というのはですね、我々の軸は一足す三次元です。ですから六次元部分がま非常に小さくて見えなくなっていると。ですが逆にですね、この小さい部分を利用してこういった特異点のようなものをま解消するというような考え方もあります。
それから物質と反物質が入れ替わることができたとしてもどうして物質が選ばれて反物質が選ばれなかったのかというのもとても不思議なことで物質の性質と反物質の性質に何か違いがあるんじゃないだろうかとそういうことを探すというような研究も進めています。These mysteries are the challenge Kavli IPMU has taken up. IPMU was established in 2007 in Chiba Prefecture at the Kashiwa campus of the University of Tokyo. Activities began on campus in shared space and in an unequipped prefabricated building. In 2009, work began on the IPMU research building. While this work was in progress, Researchers arrived from all over the world. On the 22nd of December 2009, the long awaited IPMU research building was completed. And on the 23rd of February 2010, the opening ceremony was held. Today, some dreams have come true. I understand that IPMU will use this additional space. For computing science, which requires revolutionary challenges to the Japanese university. The interaction area inside the building is as spacious and attractive as that of the best research centers overseas. Researchers from all over the world gathered in this impressive structure. The video conference room can be used at any time during the day or night to enable close collaboration with research facilities the world over. And the environment is a fitting one for one of the world's top class research establishments. In 2012, IPMU received an endowment from the US based Kavli Foundation and became the 16th Kavli Institute, Kavli IPMU. There are always about 200 research scientists at Kavli IPMU. Half of them are from overseas. Meticulous attention is paid to enabling them to live as comfortably as possible during their stay in Japan. At three o'clock in the afternoon, researchers gather for a tea break. This is an opportunity for discussing theories and exchanging ideas with researchers in other fields. Activities in the research center include inviting numerous visitors and holding international conferences about 10 times a year. These are attended by research scientists from a wide range of related fields. I think a conference like the one I'm attending here this week is excellent. It brings together so many people within Japan as well as uh, in, in,、uh, people from abroad.、Um, so, all these activities are very impressive, and I, I see the, the, this, your institute really developing、uh, very nicely and uh, with, uh, with big impact internationally. And IPMU is intellectually positioned to combine together in really a novel way these different fields. I know of no other place that involves mathematicians and astrophysicists together in kind of regular contact in the way IPMU does. And I think that's very exciting. Let's look again at the beginning of the universe. Neither stars nor galaxies existed. Further back in time, atoms moved about freely and separately. This is called the Epoch of Recombination. The light at this stage is now observed as microwave background radiation. Radio waves spreading throughout the cosmos and taken as evidence of the Big Bang. Detailed observations of this background radiation have shown minute ripples, in size approximately equivalent to one millimeter waves in seawater 100 meters deep. The most convincing scenario to explain the origin of these ripples is the inflationary universe theory. These ripples were the seeds of the galaxies and, it is thought, produced the present cosmic structures. However, that alone would not give us the present shape of the universe. It has been demonstrated by simulation that the presence of dark matter is necessary. Now, 
、でそれは実際に例えば宇宙マイクロ波背景放射として観測することができるわけですけどもそのようにまあ観測された宇宙の姿から開始してで現在に至るまでどのように進化してきたかを解明しようとしています。あのその重力の源となるのは我々が暗黒物質と呼んでいる、まあ、未知のおそらく素粒子であろうと考えていますでその未知の素粒子にもいろんな性質が考えられますので、まあ、例えば非常に重い粒子であるとか非常に軽い粒子である、まあ、そういうパターンをいくつか変えてあのその、えー、と他の人と議論することでいろんなアイデアを得て、えー、例えば別々の宇宙モデルで計算したという例は過去にいくつかあります。Let's go further back in time to when quarks had not yet condensed into protons, and gluons, which have the work of sticking quarks together, existed in a scattered and mixed manner. This was a stage in which space had a higher temperature and a higher level of energy. Quarks and antiquarks destroyed one another, and those that were left formed protons and neutrons. This was the moment when protons and neutrons underwent phase transition. Just as water changes to ice, so quarks and gluons changed to protons and neutrons. The number of quarks was one more than the billion anti quarks. That one quark in two billion formed today's universe. As we go further and further back, Space finally becomes a small dot. That dot contains an extremely tiny world. Time and energy exist, but in a very different way. By the general theory of relativity, if we consider the beginning of the universe to be a quantum particle and apply quantum mechanics to that particle, calculations will show energy to be infinite. But that minute amount of matter is not a particle. If we think of it as a string, the problem of infinite energy may be solved. This is the superstring theory. Vibrations in a string represent subatomic particles. Differences in subatomic particles are, for example, like differences in musical notes. Strings can be thought of in the same way. This simile is used at present to explain the superstring theory. It can also be used to explain space. That exceeds three dimensions. It may ultimately be possible to complete with these effects a theory explaining the origin of the universe. There is one particle called a tachyon. It carries a lot of energy, and when a lot of tachyons are created, dimensions can be reduced.、Uh, by、uh, the development of a, of a sort of a field.、Uh, In, in physics, anything that is a local quantity varying in space and time we call a field.、Uh, as time goes by, the tachyon develops spatial inhomogeneities. So it is larger in one place and smaller in another. And strings sense、uh, the tachyon in a very particular way, which is to say that. Whenever the tachyon field is very intense,、uh, like an electric field would be intense or something like that, the strings are repelled from that region. But in this case, all strings are repelled from the region in which,、uh, in which the tachyon is,、uh, is very intense.、Uh, and they are pushed into a region where it is small. That region can be Of strictly lower dimension than the total number of spatial dimensions. In other words, this proposes a model for the process by which a large number of dimensions was reduced to what we now have. Kavli IPMU collaborates with a large number of organizations. The means by which its research is carried out vary. Subatomic particle experiments are mostly done in a mine in Kamioka. Astronomical observations with the Subaru telescope in Hawaii. Theoretical and mathematical research is done through collaboration with research institutes in Japan and overseas. National universities, including the University of Tokyo and Tohoku, Nagoya, and Kyoto universities, and others. Research institutes, including the National Astronomical Observatory and the High Energy Accelerator Research Organization. 
Overseas institutes cooperating with Kavli IPMU include the University of California at its Berkeley and Irvine campuses, Princeton University, University of Paris 7, and the French Institute of Advanced Scientific Studies. So even though Once a year, research results and the details of ongoing research are scrutinized by the External Advisory Committee, which checks on progress. There are three avenues of approach to experiments, astronomical, underground, and by the use of accelerators. For astronomical studies, the basic method is observation. The Subaru telescope shows distant galaxies. The initial phases of the universe and the history of its expansion can be observed. Using gravitational lensing effects, the distribution of dark matter is being investigated. この画面とですね、あの私の間にあの目に見えないアンクブリスの塊を置いたとすると、あの私の画像がこんな風に歪んで見えてしまったりします。これが実際の宇宙の宇宙であの観測されまして、あの逆に言うとですね、ここの歪
Kavli IPMU researchers are at the center of a project to investigate whether neutrinos and antineutrinos are the same particles or not. For this purpose, xenon-136 is introduced into the liquid scintillator in the Kamland apparatus that produces light when charged particles pass through it. If neutrinos and antineutrinos are different particles, the xenon-136 will emit two electrons and two neutrinos as a result of double beta decay and change into barium-136. If, on the other hand, neutrinos and antineutrinos are the same particle, xenon-136 will only emit two electrons and can become barium-136. So uh, we hope that we will see a signal uh, from uh, double bit decay from xenon 136. And uh, in this case, we can uh, make some conclusions about the nature of uh, neutrino. And uh, we can say about its mass and uh, answer some questions, fundamental questions about the uh, nature of this particle and other particles as well. If it is found that neutrinos and antineutrinos are the same particle, we may be able to learn why there is only matter in the universe and why antimatter does not now exist. The X-mass experiment is designed to give direct confirmation of the dark matter that should fill our galaxy. Here too, Kavli IPMU researchers are playing a central role. This liquid xenon detector is 100 times more sensitive than equipment used in any previous experiment. Here we are building a huge xenon detector that will detect the lowest energy particles. We have very, very sensitive equipment here that tests every single one of the components that we are using, every material. We buy very high-grade pure xenon. Then we go and clean it up. So to develop these techniques to keep everything clean is a huge part of our effort. Not just building a wonderful detector and a detector that really has a potential to be scaled up for the next round of this kind of experimentation. The third approach is by experiments using accelerators. Conditions at the beginning of the universe can be mimicked by a particle accelerator. Japan is one of the world's leaders in the construction and operation of these machines. As a leader in advanced technology in this field, Japan has sent researchers to work at CERN. The LHC there is an accelerator that produces the world's highest energy. In 2012, the LHC drew the world's attention with the discovery of a new particle consistent with the Higgs boson. In experiments, the accelerator has reproduced conditions at the beginning of the universe and can be used to investigate strange phenomena, including the supersymmetric particles, which are candidate constituents of dark matter.今まで知られてない粒子ができるかもしれないんですね。で、その新しい粒子っていうのとダークマターとが関係してて、その粒子がダークマターに崩壊するんだろうって思ってるんですよ。ダークマターっていうのは我々の体の中をこういつでも今も
あ座標が t になったところにこのどうしたこの長さというのがこういうむしろ数学の別の数学の記号で書けるそうすると図形で書くこととこういう数式で書くことが同値になってきてそうすると逆にその数式の操作を,を十分理論を展開すれば今までいろいろ調べられたいろんな図形あるいは思いもよろばなかったものをこういう積分の記号で書けることになる。Over the past 100 years, mathematicians have developed a topic that expresses this diagram numerically and examined its cubic, quartic, and elliptical functions. We have to do this in the past, and we have to do this in the past. So, we have to do this in the past. We have to do this in the past. We have to do this in the past. We have to do Leading edge mathematics will provide keys to elucidating theories in physics such as quantum theory and string theory. The Fields Medal is known as the Nobel Prize of Mathematics. In the past, about 40% of its awards have honored work of key importance to theoretical physics. However, not all research in mathematics at Kavli IPMU is related to the physics of the universe. Research has been conducted on many other problems that have not yet been solved. Such as the extension of two dimensional spherical surfaces to higher dimensional curved spaces. Varieties that I study are called Fano varieties. Varieties with positive curvature. So, uh, <coughs> so my, my research is about what, what possible varieties with positive curvature uh, do exist and what properties do they have. Uh, and another part of my research is related to if you have here variety. And there is some rather mysterious thing called mirror symmetry. It comes from physics. And mirror symmetry says that this mathematical thing corresponds to some other mathematical thing, just functions. So on this side we have variety with positive curvature or something. This is also expected to help research on superstring theory. Education and outreach are key components of Kavli IPMU's mission. The mysteries of the universe are not problems that will be easy to solve. It is essential to make Kavli IPMU information open to the public in order to nurture the next generation of researchers. IPMU started back in 2007 from scratch, but now we boast more than 100 researchers on site working day and night on many different exciting research topics. It's very interesting to watch people come from all over the world more than half of our members are coming from different countries, and they are also from different areas. And it's really exciting to see astronomers and mathematicians are talking to each other, trying to come up with new ideas and new research directions. As of 2012, we received a generous donation from Kavli Foundation, and we became Kavli Institute for Physics and Mathematics of the Universe. This way, we're actually doing a very active research. People are very happy and excited about what they do. People are talking to each other. I'm sure we can come up with great research in the next several years. The long hoped for union of mathematics, physics, and astronomy. The Kavli Institute for the Physics and Mathematics of the Universe, Kavli IPMU, is pursuing answers to profound questions that have existed since the birth of the human race. The journey has begun.